Hello everybody! Feynman Walker here, bringing death and destruction to my enemies through the conventional means of war once again. I am attacking Hanover. I decided I was just going to take over this single city nation and figured why the hell not. Um, while besieging, they decided that it's a smart idea to come out and attack me. So I'm on the defensive this time and I'm trying to figure out a good, good place to be placing my units. So I think I'm just going to set up on this hill because hills are nice hills are good so let's see I want my general somewhere back hidden um, I'm gonna put some cavalry behind him just like that and now it's a matter of lining up all my infantry so let's see let's just group these guys together and we'll just line him up like this right is that good he can't get back here if he tries he'd run right into cavalry okay so I think I'm satisfied with this yeah yeah no totally okay yeah let's do this we'll set up just like this I do have canister shot now so I'm gonna be very deadly to them at short range with my cannons. I'm gonna turn melee mode on for all my infantry. Just just because. So let's see. They should be coming out to attack me. Where they should be. Um, I'm just gonna hit sp speed it up just to see what how this all goes down. <coughs> Sorry about that. He's trying to get all his units out of the wall now. Um, what is my cannon's range? Where does it end? Oh, it ends out here. Oh. Oh, he doesn't have as much range as I'd like. But then again, the canister shot doesn't have much of range either. So it's more of going to be a buffer zone. So he's set to fire at will. So he's just going to open fire whenever he sees necessary. I'm going to take these few rows of guys. Oh, I should probably hit play so this would be easier. I'm going to line them up just like this. And what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that my flank is pretty well protected. Alright, so he's got a couple... Wait, where are they? Oh, there they are. He's got a couple of horse reg regiments of horse. So... But I got bayonets, so I'm not too... too terribly frightened by it. So let's see, let's see how this goes have opened up on this horse horseman here. I think I hit it. No, oh, I got a couple. Okay. So I'm already starting to do some damage. You know, a lot of people say first blood is what counts, but I honestly think that the last last blood drop shed counts for more. So I am going to take a couple of these units. I'm actually going to put them back here for a little reserve. And I'm going to take these two units and I'm going to actually spread them out a little bit more. Okay, they're getting pretty close, so I'm going to switch to canister. I'm going to turn off fire at will. I'm just going to wait till his horsemen get close and then I'm just going to open right up. Best part is, is all I got to do is just click a spot and they're just going to, like I can click right here and even though it's out of range they'll open fire on it. Let's give them a 
good warning shot, shall we? That's, that's a warning shot. All right, good. That Hellish unit is no longer able to do anything. I still got these guys coming up this way. I don't know what they're gonna do. Leave it to my rifleman to just knock these guys out. And then I can focus on their infantry. There we go. Yeah, they're taking some pretty good casualties. They're almost down to half strength. And they keep charging back and forth across my line, so that's not doing them any good. Oh, they got more, more units. Okay, so they had more than two. This is why I'd set these guys up like this. That was so that they could capture any units that were planning on hitting my flanks. So now I gotta hope that is infantry come in this way so my cannons can mess them up. You know what? Screw it. Hit those guys. Oh, sweet business. Okay, so my infantry have begun fighting on a more concentrated front. Looks like he's going to try to pull this infantry around a flank, which is another good reason why I pulled these guys back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this regiment, I'm going to line them up, um, pardon, there we go, I'm going to line them up there like that, make them run, I'm going to place another line regiment, I'm just going to drop them right there like that. So now I'm going to move my general and my cavalry unit, group them up so they stay in that general shape. Put them right behind here to kind of give a morale boost to these guys. I'm not too concerned duking it out with these guys over over standard volleys because most of them are their uh, fire arc, fire lock uh, armed citizenry. So they're the, ju they're just the standard peasants, and there's only 80 per group. So you know, I'm not I'm not too concerned duking it out in a shooting match. I know I have good enough guys who can can fight. It's these these line regiments and regiments of foot that I am I'm a little concerned over. Um, come on, stop shooting. This stuff's about to get serious here. I need them to reload and open fire with a canister shot on some of these guys. Like maybe maybe that regiment of foot right there. Maybe we'll see what damage we can do against these guys. It's Let's take a look. We go opening fire now. Ah, that was a good, good show. I'm gonna have him try to just lay into these guys who are lining up over here. So I am, I am back to a little bit of a corner. But I'm not too concerned. I'm concerned that I'm in melee now with these guys and I can't see anything because it's it's all woods. I'm gonna try to get these guys to retreat. I don't want to send my cavalry in quite yet because they've got um, they've got a unit of pikemen in there and I don't want to run into them by mistake. We'll send these guys forward into these two groups. Yeah, there's their pikemen, okay. So their general's fallen, so they might end up turning around. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna stop these guys from shooting. No, I think I can get away with one more volley. There we go, I got a few 
few good hits. So I'm just gonna stop shooting. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so let's see. Here we go. Okay, now they're all starting to turn around and run away. Oh, I'm shooting these guys, they're not shooting me. Okay. I don't know how many guys are running away and how many are staying. Okay, this unit's still here, itching for a fight. Come on, let's try to canister shot these guys one last time. Let's see what we can do. Come on. Nah, that wasn't too bad. That could have been better. Find their pikemen if their pikemen are routing. There they are. Yeah, even though they're pikemen, they're running, so they shouldn't do too much damage to my cavalry. Okay, let's get my infantry regiments, they're shooting, to stop shooting. Again. Ugh. Okay. Actually, this regiment can charge now. I have faith in. Them. Yeah, we got them outnumbered. We didn't take any casualties. They were trying to get into formation. Lost a handful, but. A handful's okay. Do I have. Yeah, they don't have bayonets, so... They got them outclassed in melee. Oops. I'm sorry, who... Who let you into the party over here? Okay, those guys should all be gone. Let's... Like these guys out. Come on. That could have been better, but they're just outside my range. So, you know, I gave them some bit of a cavalry startle. Not cavalry, a uh, canister startle. So let's let's get anybody I got get in here. So it's just this last group here. Nope, not even them. They're running away now. Alright, well that was it. So Hanover is now mine. I own another region. And there's one less minor na nation to worry about. So, you know, my next battle, I might go into Poland this time, because they're, they're not too happy with me uh, declaring war on these guys over here. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see all of you in the next video.